ISO 14001 2015 Environmental Management Systems, how to, what to do, when to do it, who does it, what's involved, what's the training, what do we need to write, what policies, procedures, what processes do we need. In this video, we're going to be answering the 10 most common questions that we get and Google gets and YouTube gets around ISO 14001 2015 Environmental Management Systems. <laughs> Why is ISO 14001 so important? Why is the standard so important? Well, we've only got one planet and we probably should look after it. So I'm quite passionate about environmental management. I'm, I'm passionate about sustainability and having an environmental management system in your organization is a great way to bring attention to the issues that may not necessarily be talked about very often. So having a system in place uh, ISO 14001 is really important. It provides a really tight framework. So it's kind of like, it's not limitless. It says, this is all you really need to do. You can follow this framework, you can follow this model, you can follow this method methodology, and that's all you need to focus on. So it's a lot of people get a lot of anxiety. I'm not sure if I'm doing everything I need to do. Well, the 14001 standard gives you a nice tight little framework methodology to follow to be managing environmental management in your organization and looking after that number one planet. Uh, we've only got one planet. We all need to share it. We all need to look after it. Uh, we can't quite get off it just yet and go somewhere else. So I think it's a good idea to be managing our climate change and envi managing environmental management and bringing awareness to it. So whether climate change you know, is or isn't a thing and whether it's being debated, we can definitely think locally and we can look after our local environments and we can protect them for our future generations, for our kids and our grandkids and even ourselves. Next question. What is the difference between ISO 14000 and ISO 14001? Okay, so we've got two standards. What's the difference between ISO 14000 and ISO 14001? ISO 14000 with all the zeros, so 14000 or 14000 is the dictionary. It's the terms and definitions. It sets the context for the standard. Uh, I've been doing a lot of litigious work lately, working with lawyers and working with contracts and deeds of release and 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 uh, and agreements, settlement agreements um, with um, some legal uh, processes I've been going through. All of those contracts I've been working on have terms and definitions at the beginning of those documents. The 14001 series of standards or any of the ISO standards are no different, but because there's a few terms that need explaining, they've put together a separate document that's ISO 14000. ISO 14001 and any ISO standard that ends in a one. So here at Best Practice, we work with ISO 9001, 45001, 27001, 14001. The standards that end in a one are the framework standards. They're the standards that you can use to follow to set up systems in your organization. So business systems. These standards are about implementing your business plan. They help you with a process to implement the objectives of the company. So if your company is, has an objective to be a good environmental citizen or, or look after sustainability, then you can use this framework to implement that objective, implement that business plan. So the business plan might be, you know, we need to be profitable, we need to be an upstanding citizen, we need to be, you know, an industry leader, and we need to have great sustainability programs and look after our environment. You can use 14001 to implement that objective. So uh, that's the difference between 14000 and 14001, the dictionary and the framework.